Hey guys, Caleb Brown, New Planet Recruiting here. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. Hey, I had a candidate last week ask me, a job, job seeker ask me, Caleb, what's the most valuable experience? I've got two different job opportunities I can choose from. One is a client service where I can learn the planning and the paperwork and the client service stuff. The other one is more heavily emphasized on the sales side, the sales route. So getting business, developing clients, that type of thing. And I mean, I, I hate to give you the, the, the typical financial planner answer of it depends, but it really does. It really depends on what you're trying to do. If you're gonna try to start your own firm, be a lead planner or, you know, that, that sales experience is probably more heavily weighted than the, than the back office planning stuff, okay? If you wanna just service clients for the rest of your career and don't really wanna develop business or start your own firm or, you know, just have these, you know, ridiculous income requirements in, in mind, it's probably the, 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 the service side, okay? In this particular case, this candidate wanted to, basically said, I, I'm gonna go work at this firm for a couple years or this opportunity, then I'm gonna start my own firm. Well, when you start your own firm, you gotta get a lot of clients and you've gotta do things to generate revenue. So what I told him is like, look, it's, it's probably gonna be more beneficial for you to go out there and learn how to sell and pound the pavement and get these people to sign up and the marketing and the selling selling techniques because if you can't bring any clients or bring any revenue in the door there's no one really for you to service or i mean and you guys know i'm a big believer on learning the planning finding mentorship but if that's not available for you and you have to pick one or the other like this this candidate was you know what's going to move the needle the most Okay, and you've heard other successful business owners, a lot of entrepreneurs, especially on Shark Tank, and they have tended to all like, hey, I've come up with an idea, I'm gonna go sell it, and then I'm gonna figure out how to deliver and implement later. And that's worked out for a lot of them, not, not all of them. On the flip side of that, when I see people say, look, I wanna start my own firm, and yeah, I'm gonna spend time getting my processes, and you know, really finding that right financial planning software and the technology and, you know, making sure my business card and my website looks good. They, they get focused on all these things and they have no one coming in the door. They end up burning through all their cash because they haven't gotten out there and, and maybe done some things that are there maybe are slightly uncomfortable for them. So if you want to be a lead planner, you want to be a firm owner, you want to start your own firm. The, the sales, the, the getting the clients is going to be a, a very large and critical part of your role and success going forward. And frankly, even if you're looking for the, the, the baby boomers and sort of the Gen Xers that are in control of a lot of the firms right now, they tend to more heavily weight the people that can get business. That's their words, not mine. People that can sell, they see those people in a different light just on, on terms of viewing candidates and trying to decide which one to select and hire for their firm. So I hope that was helpful. It really depends on what you want to do. You can do it, whatever you choose. Good luck. See you next time. Bye-bye.